Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me just a little while ago and said they couldn't get their Snap to to Snap to. And if you go to View and go to Snap to, you've got Snap to object selected. So if you wanted to, he's trying to make a 3D out of this letter A or A letter A. It won't snap. The reason it won't snap is because it's not an object. It's a text. So to make this work, once you've drawn it out, select them both, arrange, and convert them to curves. Now they are objects. So take your, and also your, your uh, virtual segment delete key will not, see now it's, it's snapping to that node. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do one. It's kind of interesting to figure out what uh, what lines you need to draw and what lines you need to take out. And it would be a pretty cool effect. And I think I've done them all except for the interior. And there's actually a line in the way. I'm going to take that line away. And go from that node to that node. See, it's snapping to it because it's an object and not a text anymore. So now we can take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines we do not need anymore. And it's kind of, you gotta got to think about what you're looking at here. If you're trying to make it look like 3D. And I think we're there. And then to really make it 3D looking, would be to take your Smart Fill tool, get to a black, and Smart Fill the first layer with black, uh, go to a gray with the other part, and then you would want to select everything and make the lines black, and actually go down here and change them from a hairline to something thicker and I'm going to make them pretty thick for the video and that does look like a 3DA. Now I would hate to do the whole alphabet but if you were just doing like maybe the ABCs or something for a block of wood that would be pretty cool. Now just a word of warning and for that gentleman uh, this is going to pretty much all engrave the same uh, and I'm a big fan of this. Let's make, make this a little bit smaller. This is the way I would engrave this. I would take my blacks and get them out of the way. And even maybe my, my grays, and let's, let's put the grays over here for a second. Just kind of remember how many times you nudged it over. So they'll all be equal. And then I would try to select them and move them over quite a bit. And I accidentally got a line there. So let's nudge it back. Then I would group this together. Control G. And then I would nudge my A back in there. Whoop, I can't watch the screen to type. And then I would group these together. Control G. Now I would group, put this back. And if you use your nudge distance, it'll put it right back. So what I would do is nudge this off the page. Run this at 100 power at, you know, 70 speed if you like. Nudge this one off the page. And just remember how many clicks you did. And then run this at 100 power at 90 speed. The gray is going to engrave different than the black. But you've got so much more control doing it in two separate steps. Because you can change everything. I know, you know, you could even color map it. But for one item, it's not worth it. Or I don't think it is. But that would look pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit.